Hello, Anthony. Oh my god. Oh my god. Greetings, Imperial Citizens. Thank you for choosing to watch. I'm Anthony. Today's communique is way off topic. It's an unboxing video, but not Star Wars related. Or is it? See, in this box is a very generous gift from a friend overseas. I, I, I know what's in it and I can't wait to open it. It's been sitting around too long, but this one, I honestly have no idea, but we'll find out together at the end. But first, let me preamble. When I started this channel, I couldn't imagine how many fantastic people I would meet. Uh, Stu, Tim, Nick, Slacious Rum, Victoria, Paul, Shabby, Vern, Sean, Dude, Tez. I could go on and on and on. And you guys know who you are. Thank you guys. You're, you're just awesome. And it's been a pleasure getting to know you all. We share a love for not only Star Wars, but science fiction in general. Hopefully, many of you know Martin Futter. He's from the UK and he's one of the nicest people that I've had the pleasure of befriending ever since I got on the social media. In fact, I had the pleasure of buying a pint for him the last time I was in London. Martin and I have helped each other out over the last few years with items that neither of us could get in our home countries. But this, I, I have literally no idea what I did to deserve this, other than share a love of vintage sci-fi like Space 1999. This is way more than just running out to Forbidden Planet for an item that isn't available in the US. Inside this box are paper kits that require hours and hours of construction time. Like I said, it's been sitting around for far too long, so let's open her up. All right. This is a very well-packed box. I don't even know how to open it, so I will speed it up where necessary. Glasses go off so I can see closer. Got these, and I was in the middle of a bunch of stuff, so I had not got a chance to open it. But because of the amount of work that was put into these, I just couldn't open them up without a bit of fanfare. This video definitely is that. Martin's probably watching going, no, don't do it that way. Probably could have been a tutorial on packing instructions. Unpacking instructions. Could be upside down. It's all glued. It seems like there's no chance of this getting down. But... Oh my god, this is like, this is almost like a trick gift. Where there's just layers upon layers upon layers. This must have cost fortune. Everybody should be so lucky to have stuff packed as well, anything. Is this a note? Is this a note? Anthony, I hope the drones have reached you intact on their journey across the pond? Question mark. Uh, you'll find several boxes and ancillaries uh, within, and I'd suggest you open everything very carefully. The models are fairly robust, but can easily be damaged. I made a simple display plinth. Should you be inclined to use it? and have included a cargo pod. Unfortunately, the printers got the color balance wrong on the pod, which I didn't notice until I messed up on one panel. So you'll notice one plate is the right shade, the opposite to the rest. If you set the pod as it should be on this piece, no one will know. There's also a sponsor logos to add if you wish so. Oh yeah, um, it's a movie thing. Anyway, I hope you like them, and may they give you years of service, and if you need any assistance or spare parts, drop me a line. Best regards, Martin. That was great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. American Airlines. One box. I believe this is the panel with uh, tons, of, tons of instructions. Let's see over. Another, another big box. There's three boxes in here. And let's see else, what have we got. We've got uh, another, another part pieces. I think that's it. I'm going to clean up. I cannot not see these coming through well for as well as they're packed. I'm more afraid of doing a disservice by um, the way I'm unpacking. Cut tape, remove both ends first, cut along tape, and we'll fold out. All right. 
Ah, uh, this is the name of the movie, by the way. Uh, Silent Running. It's a uh, 1972, 1973 film with Bruce Dern. It's kind of a, an environmental film, or at least it has a message about uh, the environment. Bruce Dern is one of my favorite actors, but I really love the movie because it's set in space. The ship is called the Valley Forge. It's a ship that basically has a lot of uh, trees, which Bruce Stern's character and his small crew are charged with taking care of. But at some point, they're ordered to jettison them. Uh, I, I, I forgot why, but then he goes into conflict with his other crew members. But these droids, which I am unboxing, whose names, well, there's three of them, and their names are Huey, Dewey, and Louie, which are direct left reference to Disney. Let's see. The drone arm suggests you pull apart or strip from one side slowly. Uh, oh my god! I mean, the way that these are in here, I mean, they're just he made a he made uh, stencils for them and placed them in and put tops and bottoms. I mean, this is just incredible. That's like incredible care. And one more thing in here: pull or cut tape from the side, open carefully. One brush, watering can, data cards. Oh, so these are all the accessories for the droids. Uh, I will open those shortly. But anyway, the movie, what's great about it is it's uh, directed by Douglas Trimble, visual effects mastermind behind Close Encounters, Blade Runner, Star Trek The Motion Picture, and uh, of course, 2001 A Space Odyssey. And actually, there is a Star Wars connection because one of the lead VFX producers is John Dykstra, and obviously went on to do Star Wars. When you watch it, it's, it's one of those movies that is kind of a really good gap between genius of 2001 a space odyssey and star wars because the photography is definitely a night and day difference of what was happening in in that era fun fact trivia about the valley forge is that that ship got reused in not just the 1978 version or 1979 but also the remake of uh, battlestar galactic so it's uh, part of the ragtag colonial fleet in both versions. Uh, it's a strong looking ship. The model's just outstanding. I'm assuming that these are the three droids. Wow, for opening the first droid. These are like hot glued custom boxes. This is just absolutely amazing care was taken. In fact, maybe, maybe a little too good because I have to aggressively open these without damaging the contents inside. But they are paper kits, so I could see why care was definitely absolutely needed to uh, get them here safe. All right, here's unit number two, which is orange. Uh, being very careful. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so amazing. Wow, I mean, these things are made of paper. I mean, check this out. I mean, they're just they're, they're just simple service droids, but they predate R two D two, and here's paper falling out of them. But they're great. They have personalities. Wow, the the intricate construction on these is amazing. And if I'm not mistaken, these these lights work. Wow. All right, let's see. That was much easier. Green was number number three. I only have two guesses. Yes, I got it right. Number three. Two is a slightly larger one than the other two. There's number number three. Oh, much easier. Much easier than this. And droid number one. I'm assuming this is Huey. Dewey and Louie. What is in here? Aha! Pod. Okay, I was unaware that this was coming. Uh, pod from, from film. But this is really cool. <laughs> now, left two. The arms and the accessories. Okay, I suggest you pull apart or strip from one side only. And these are, wow, these are glued very, 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 very well. These are the arms. They are packed in cotton. 
They they do not have the hands. The hands are separate. There is these paper kits are amazing. They do have some degree of movement, but arms uh, go arms go in just like that. At the time of filming, it's the day that the, the acolyte's showing, and I'm going to be busy with these for hours. So, all three are the same. And then have the accessories. See, there's, here's what we got in here. These are, these are chips. These are uh, like little uh, data cards that kind of have the personality and just information for programming. You know, 1970s style tech things. There's uh, some slots right here. They fit into there. A watering can because they are in environmental ships taking care of plants and has little little decorations on it. Ah, a little little plant to uh, go with the theme because they are planting plants and taking care of them. And then finally, the hands that go on the arms and. Um, a deck of cards because they do play cards with Bruce Stern's character. The man has a full house and he knew it! Wow, this is really, really, really amazing. Before we take a closer look, here's Martin himself with a tutorial. Hello Anthony, this is Know Your Drone. Thank you for letting me make these for you. And sorry they've taken a long while, but they are quite labor intensive as you've seen on the photos. The little guys are quite lightweight. They will sit on their own. They're quite happy to do so. What have we got? Manipulator arm will turn left or right. There's a small degree of movement in the arm, but it won't extend out. I'll send them to you with the arms out and they'll be protected separately. They'll pop into the little front hole there. There's a small little piston there that may have moved. So you might need some tweezers just to move that up and down. I think one of them's a bit looser than the other. But I'll just pop back into the hole. Like so. What else we got? The legs do have a degree of movement. And they will go left, backwards and forwards along with the feet. You can adjust your angle to get your guys to sit correctly. The toes have a degree of movement. But if you don't like the toes as they are, you can glue them down should you wish. If you want to reprogram your drawings, you've got your little data chips and they'll come out at the top. The same on all of them. If you want to look inside your drone, you can slide out the panel. It will slide on the on the runners. You're going to get a look inside. I guess that's how the actors got inside the uh, costumes in the first place. To plonk your little arms in, they sit in this hole here, which I didn't really notice until I watched the film a couple of times, that the ends of the arms sat in these little holes in the front there. Uh, so you could just pop that out. I'll send these with the arms in a separate box. And it's just a small peg on the end. And I'll plop in like so. The little claws at the end. There's a small little gap there. You can take your cards. There are some accessories that come with these guys. I'll keep them a secret and you can have them as a surprise. And they'll just fit in the uh, the ends like so. Look at the man, he's got a full house! That's three little drones. Well, apart from the bigger guy. Coming to a galaxy near you soon. But for now, enjoy your drones. And I'll see you soon, Anthony. Bye! Including the plinth. There are 30 pieces total. The three drones with three arms and three hands, six data cards, a spade, two sets of playing cards, a watering can, sapling, which isn't made of paper, eight sponsor logos, and the pot. The intricacy of the drones is astounding. The data cards insert like so. And although they look the same, a specific arm goes with each drone. The playing cards are two-sided. The man had a full house and he knew it! <laughs> with the arms and hands assembled, 
there's a variety of ways you can display your service droids. Sadly, the lights don't work, they're reflectors, but cool anyway. I love these guys. Thank you so much, my friend. Now, before I sign off, the mystery box, also from Martin. Again, I have no idea what's inside, so let's find out together. All right, glasses off. Luckily, it's such a smaller, smaller box. Let's see. Okay. Another note. Anthony, two new recruits for the Imperial cause. Had another custom made by Roger Wayman, formerly T-Dot, now Torton Toys over on Instagram. So whilst ordering mine, I thought you might like a couple too. Hope you enjoy them. Best wishes, or wishes, Martin. Okay, Imperial. So uh, it is Star Wars related. So what do we got? Um, wait a second. No way. These are R2 units, but uh, they're customs that have like stormtrooper heads on them. <laughs> I, 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 man, I made a, I made an innocuous comment. I saw these and I was like, oh, they're, they're just too cool. I never, never thought of getting them. And, and they're in the vintage style here. Hold on one second. All right, this is the R4 version. Oh, <laughs> oh this is, uh, this is really great. This is really, 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 really great. Um, and then there's another one. All right, so this is, um, let's see. Ah, just another R4, but still, slight variant. Well packed as always. Sometimes I feel like uh, Kevin Costner in uh, Dances with Wolves, just like, you know, making coffee. Ooh, oh, this is a uh, sergeant. It's like a sand trooper. Uh, this is uh, this is way, 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 way cool. I love these guys. This is so awesome. Thank you so much once again, Mr. Martin. Uh, you're the best. I don't know what I've done to deserve it. Read on my glasses. And that's all for this communique. And now, as always, it's time for you to do your part for the Empire. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment below, follow me on my social media, and await the next transmission with special guest Moff Bobras. With special guest Moff. With special guest Bob. Bob. Moff Bobras. With special guest Moff Bobras. Eh. Um. With special guest Bob. Argh. Ah, oh, this is going on the reel. <laughs>